Welcome to the She Lead Showcase. I'm your host with the most is Katie Kinsey Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Thank you very much. Join with me, of course, is my lovely co host. She's the hangman to my Adam Cole. She is the Young Bucks Nation sensation, the fire breathing Cody Rhodes eating spice of life, sassy senorita that I know, Miss Y2 Garcia Savannah. Hello, Katie. How you doing? Doing pretty well. I'm pretty doing pretty good. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> listen. When I originally had notes for the show, my news and rumors section was very small. Right. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna jump straight into it. We're just gonna, we're just yeah. gonna go straight fucking in. So let me do all the things. I'll do the thing that was originally gonna be my main talking point, and then I'll do the big thing that happened. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the main talking point is going to be before. Exactly. Everybody who has a podcast, a wrestling podcast, to say the least, will or be who, talking about this. Or anyone who has, a, like, a Twitter or even social media would know what's going on. Anyone in the wrestling community. Yeah. Because other superstars, other people in the community have been tweeting about it all day. Well, since it happened, of course. Yeah. Um. So before we get to that... Um, Speedball Mike Bailey signed to Impact. He was big in the Indies. Mm. Uh, I saw a lot of matches of his on uh, PWG. Shout out to him! Congratulations, that's a big deal. Impact scooping up talent left and right as they should. We yeah, especially about, as they're growing. Yeah, and we talked about oh god last week, the week before, Ring of Honor is like no longer a thing. For the time I think being. it was the week, I think, not last week, the week before that. You know, the weeks blend together. I don't they even do know. They do blend together. <laughs> they blend together bad. Um, we saw this past week, The Miz, who was on Dancing with the Stars, got eliminated. <laughs> that broke my heart. Of course, because he was at the bottom, too, with JoJo Siwa. You know how big JoJo is, like, how big of a name she is, you know? You can't go to any any store basically without seeing something whether it's clothing snacks like accessories backpacks anything of jojo so yeah jojo's big i mean dance moms to nickelodeon to yeah. dance with the stars she's the first person on the show to have uh the same sex partner yeah so it was when they dances was... have been like i don't watch the show i watch the clips their dance yeah. is incredible <laughs> hands down I know people were saying that he was definitely eliminated too soon. Um, I know he lasted longer than Jericho did when he was on Dancing with the Stars, and he's lasted the same amount of time as Nikki Bella when he was on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. So not a bad, not a bad track record. And apparently, Stacy Keebler got third. So I think like out of all the wrestlers who have been on Dancing with the Stars, he's kind of second place there <laughs> with Nikki Bella. I mean, she got long legs. Like, I don't know, it's impressive. Are we talking about how big Batista's dick is for the main event? No, we are not, actually. It is not the main event I'm talking about. Um, you brought up the Bellas. Apparently, both uh, the Bellas podcast came back this week. Apparently, I haven't, like, listened to their episode yet. Both Brie and Nikki decided to walk away, so Total Bellas is no more. So like walk away from reality TV? I think so, yeah. Or walk like away? the show like the show's done. Which I, I mean don't blame I didn't them. I'm gonna say they have they pretty much have their own lives now outside of Total Bellas and WWE, so um I know first of all I think they're just focusing on being parents most of all. They're focusing on their kids, but you know, I know they have a they have like winery, they have, you know, Birdie B, which is their clothing line, and they have they a have hair care so line. Much shit. So like, I was gonna say, yeah, like get the least like, of you know, worries. it's okay. Yeah. The least of their fucking worries. And you're right. I didn't realize that they them. were in Yeah, and if it's something they want to do, I, I would hope that the Bell Army respects that. I mean that seems to be like I only saw like a few people talking about it, but from people I did, it was all good things. Good. That's what I like to hear. Um John Moxley. Uh, it was announced on. No, this isn't even the other thing I was going to talk about. Oh, wow. this isn't well, even the other big thing. <laughs> there, yeah, there was there was a few developments over my notes. Um, so it was announced on Wednesday, right? Yesterday. Yeah. Tony Khan tweeted that 
uh, John Moxley is entering an inpatient alcohol treatment program. You know what? Good. He needed help. He got it. He or he's getting it. He acknowledged it. He knew. CM Punk brought it up on Dynamite and respected Mox. I liked that. He got the crowd to chant for Mox. Um, so I, I like that Mox is seeing that he needs to focus on himself. He has a new baby at home. Maybe that's all it took was the birth of his child to see he needed to actually go get help. Yeah, and like I know, you know, as probably in as much of a tough ba- tough spot he's currently in, I hope he at least realizes that acceptance that he, like accepting that he has a problem and acknowledging it and doing something about it is way more than like most people do, and that's already a very big step in the right direction. You know, I know it's probably gonna be a tough journey for him to get out of like you know the addiction, but you know, ag- admitting and acknowledging that you even have the addiction is already a very big step forward because most people are just in denial. Yeah, I mean, in any type of addiction, anything, the first step is admitting you have a problem. Yeah, and I'm glad he was able to do so. And I know um, Renee tweeted out, you know, um, a statement regarding that like nothing but love, you know, and uh, not just from her, but from everyone in the wrestling community. I know- There, of course, there's always going to be some some of those fucking idiots out there having to make it about WWE versus AEW when that's not the case. This is a man who needs help, and that's all that is. It doesn't matter where the hell he's wrestled or where he's wrestling now. It's about the fact that he needs help, and he's getting it, and he has all the support from pretty much everyone behind him. It's uh, The main point is he is getting the help he needs. And we can only hope that if and when he comes back, he is 100% good in his right mindset. And that's, that's all we can ask for, really. Yeah. Because that's, that's a hard thing to fucking go through. Especially yeah, inpatient. Doesn't... Like, that means you're, you're there. You're at the treatment. You're, you're at the treatment facility. You're not at home. You're not with your wife and your you're... child. Like... Yeah, and you're like, you're like, you're like, you know, it's kind of somewhere where you're staying, you know, like you're not, someone's not coming to you, you're going to them, you know, or it's yeah. not like, like weekly appointments or something like, no, you're, you're there. You're gonna go, for yeah, however long you're gonna stay you to there. there. And yeah, for sure. That's what he needs. And so that's all I, that's I'm glad all that, I care like, about. And I'm happy he, I mean, it definitely came as a shock because, like, that's not a random tweet. That's not a tweet you like to see or, expect to see on like a wednesday night a few hours yeah. before dynamite you know yeah and i know um it just the sacrifice i'm pretty sure you know especially well things might have made like mayor well you know what i'm gonna say that things probably would have stayed the same regardless but based on results of the match on dynamite in the semifinals mox was bound to go to the finals for this world title mm-hmm. eliminator tournament probably even winning i know people are saying it's danielson but you know you never know you know they might pull it they could have like you know done something big but the fact is that he decided to turn around from this big opportunity that he was given and still go get the help he needed and i think that's like mad respect for that you know oh 100 um another thing apparently kyle o'reilly's contract is expiring or is up in december of this year Will he renew it? Will he go to AEW? Will he go to New Japan? Or Impact? Or MLW? Or wherever? Or just retire? (laughs) Who knows? Uh, All that matters is, wherever Kyle O'Reilly goes, he enjoys his time. And he's happy. Yeah, and I know- It's the same shit I was saying about Adam Cole. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I know people are saying, oh my god, what if, like, he goes to AEW and, like, we get, like, an Undisputed Era reunion and they go against- But we're not going to- I don't know, man. I think Adam is gonna leave the elite somewhere or another. I'm like either I don't know about getting kicked out or just no, leaving on no, his own free no, will. No. But Kenny's the one who's some... gonna get kicked out. Kenny's gonna get kicked out. Do whatever, and then it's gonna be Cole in the books. And have yeah, you I realized could see that. I since see, I Impact could... and AW are no longer working together, we do not get Gallows and Anderson on TV anymore. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I just I. Like, you know, I genuinely have been enjoying the time without them. Like, 
you know I just feel better. like they first of all they were just there I hated Don Callis like you know I know Don's a really cool person in real life his character I cannot stand um and the fact that he was talking for Kenny just genuinely like pissed me off I was like dude he could talk for himself and now he can and he has been you know what is he gonna have fucking act because I will talk for him now no so I'm glad that you know he's out of the way it, it is kind of strange the fact that they are no longer working together I kind of you know I'm a little nosy I want to know what happened but if it's it probably means the you fact know that impact was getting nothing out of the fucking deal all of, all the AW pretty, were coming to their yeah. company taking all their titles and I taking know. them back to AW that's all they I were think doing. the the biggest disappointment from this is we're not getting Deanna versus Britt. I mean, we very well still could. If, Maybe. if AEW decides to ever play ball with NWA. And That's we get another all-women's pay-per-view. Because there were AEW That's true. women there. That's true. Yeah, but I, mean, I guess as far well, as... Well, Deanna's not my with... champion anymore. So I don't care. <laughs> I wanted I wanted championship... Champion versus champion. Versus I mean, champion. It, it can't. It could be. I mean, she's still the AAA Women's Championship, the Reina she's de Reinas. Reina yeah, but Britt's not gonna go for that. I mean, Dang I don't know why not, Britt. What do you got against? What do you got against AAA? I'm just saying. I don't think. No, I'm not. No, yeah. I I'm don't not, think. I think it was. Britt's not FTR. She's not gonna go after belts. They, I don't even know what mean. FTR even went for those titles anyway. I was like, really? Just like, screw I was kind of Rose to help feud this, fuel this feud. I don't know, speak. Speaking of fueling things, did you see the shit on Twitter? Not not the not the big thing we're talking about. The thing before, no, I was... um, with your boy Jericho. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, for those who do not know, Kalisto, um, for I'm sorry, formerly known as Kalisto, made his AW debut with in a, in a tag team. Challenging FTR for the AAA titles, right? Tag titles. Match was good. Things were fine and dandy. Kalisto tweets after the fact. Let me let me do exact tweets. Um, so you're not saying like so words so not, don't get so mixed up. So I'm not up. summarizing everything. Let me. Yeah. Oh, I should have saved the picture. Hold on. It's gonna give. It's gonna take me a second. I should have been prepared. That's on me. That's on me, y'all. Oh my god. There's so many people <laughs> in this group message. Jesus. Shout out to the cafeteria. If you know, you know. That's what I'm going through. Oh my god. Um, Where? Oh wait, I'm close. Hold on. I gotta be. This is the conversation. This is the conversation. Why do Garcia turn on Jericho or she'll defend him? I'll, let, I'll get into that let me, after Katie talks about let it. Let me... Okay. Almost there. Hold on. Okay. Um, So, he tweeted... Prayed and talked to John in parentheses Brody Lee before my match. Yeah. Thank you for showing me your home at AW and giving me the strength and energy I needed. I need it. Need it today. Prayer hands. Uh, for, forever, you're in my heart. Now, key things from this tweet. He spelled John J O H N. He also put the wrong form of your. And <laughs> most people were just like, "That's awesome." Like. We, you did great, Brody. You know, a bunch of purple hearts, whatever. And then Jericho decides to just quote tweet it, just saying you spelled his name wrong. First of all, who asked? Who asked Jericho's opinion? I feel like, actually, before I even get on that, Amanda, John's widow. Um, this is the thread I was sent. Uh, Jericho put you spelled his name wrong. Someone replied, uh, you think his English isn't his first language, so... Oh, I think... Oh, Jesus, I can't read. I think because English <laughs> isn't his first language, so probably just didn't realize. Amanda. This is this is the widow. Yeah, not an excuse to spell someone's name wrong if you're name dropping. Now, first of all, what... If there was a bigger issue with this... If Amanda didn't want people using Brody's name or John's name, then tell people, tell everyone, make it an evil play, even playing field. Tell people, no, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. If you don't want people talking about your late husband, then tell everyone. 
Cal- for all we know, Kalisto and Brody were homies back in NXT. We don't know. None of us were there. If there was yeah. an issue, Jericho could have sent a DM. But he wanted to make it public and in turn make this entire shitstorm of people either taking Jericho's side and Amanda's side or Kalisto's when all if there like there was no reason to blow it up all he had, yeah. all all Jericho had to do or Amanda for that matter if she had an issue with it send him a DM you don't got to put a shit on blast like that you know he was trying yeah, to pay I respects he he in his place in his mind in his heart him and Brody were friends he sent a quick prayer up to Brody and that's all he was doing paying respects but people yeah, will take I... it and blow it up because people just need to just stop. Some people just need to not be on Twitter. Plain and simple. Yeah, and I was going to add on to that because I didn't know if you got this part of the thread. I got this from um, a wrestling news source on Instagram. And someone asked, um, I thought this was what we were talking about, but this is, um, um, I guess, I something you may not have ca- caught. But someone said, um, Miro calls Brody Brody with a Y, not an I-E. Mm-hmm. And it said, there's no problem. Kalisto calls John, J-O-N, John, like J-O-H-N, and there's a problem. And then that's when Amanda replied to this person saying, Brody slash Brody, like both spelled with I-E and the Y. Yeah, was a stage name, not his real name. Two, Miro spoke to me almost daily when John was sick. Three, Miro cried with me after he passed. Four, Miro continuously checked on me and my kids. So I, I don't know. Again, like, that's the thing. Like, um, if this was a bigger issue and Amanda had a problem with Kalisto not checking up on her or her kids or keeping in touch, that could have been settled in a DM. Yeah, and like the moment where I don't get it either is like you know maybe maybe to them it's a big deal, but like for example, like if it's just like. He just spelled his name wrong. Like, I'm sorry. Like, maybe I'm just, I don't like, know why I'm just being exactly, insensitive, that's, but like, that's the it's just thing. a, he's not, a he's not like any spelling. Look in his from a, tweets. He from a guy, tweet. from a guy, from a guy whose second language is English. Like, I don't know. Like, it's like, oh. it's literally, I lost so many fucking brain cells watching people respond to this tweet and more specifically Jericho's tweet, his quote tweet. Because people were like, I, yeah. eh, eh, like it's just I. Yeah, I saw. Twitter. I got the because I have his. I have his Twitter notification, so I like when he replies to shit like that. I was like, oh, I wonder whose name he spelled wrong. And then I saw that, I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, and I was like, I'm just gonna. I was just. I'm like, I was like, I'm like, this is why I don't get on Twitter. So I just left it. I didn't realize it had blown up into a whole thing until I saw that thing on Instagram with like Amanda responding and shit. And I'm like, what, like. You know, I love Jericho, but, like, why did this get to this point? I'm like, it, because it was he, a misspelled it, because name. All he had to, again, all he had to do was send a DM. Well, he chose not to. And all I know is that he has definitely been getting shit because his most recent Instagram post comments are completely disabled. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure I guess he realized that if he comments were not disabled, um, people would probably be giving him shit. Do I still love him? Yes. Do I agree with what he did? Absolutely wait, wait, not. Because again, like, disabled on what? Instagram his most recent oh, post. I was like not on Twitter because people were no, fucking not responding on Twitter. to that. Yeah. Um, do I still love the guy? Of course I do. Do I agree with what he did? Absolutely not. There was no reason to even like bring up shit like that, you know. Especially when it's nothing when it has nothing to do with you. Like this is between like like who first of all, like is if there was really a problem, it should have been Amanda who said you spelled his name wrong. Like if any if anything, and even then you don't have to make it public, you could just dm him hey you spelled his name wrong but you know i don't know why this had to be made public i really don't I was again like, like i was just if jericho would have just been a chill dude and a decent human being and just dm police though if he had that much of an issue with it none of this would have happened but people like to and take like, I something feel so... pe- people take something and i blow it up and then everyone's just like oh you're either this side or this side. Just stop fucking yeah. taking sides on everything. Twitter, Twitter's canceled. Cancel. And I feel so bad for Kalisto. I, I don't know what his new name is. I'm just going to call him Kalisto. Sorry, that's just what I know him as. But, like, he was just trying to pay his respects. And I'm pretty sure not only does he feel like shit that he's getting called out for misspelling his, his name, 
you know, oh, like yeah. Kalisto, you, Kalisto responded to Jericho. Let me find it. Let me hold on. Okay, well you do that, but like the fact that like he probably feels like shit now that people are calling him out for it, and then on top of that, it became this whole mess, which I'm pretty damn sure those were not his intentions at all. He just wanted to pay respect, and now there's this whole thing. You get what I'm saying? Like, honestly, um, oh wait, hold on, I stopped. Hold on, where did it go? Oh, so all all uh, uh Samurai del Sol is his new name. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, S A M U R A Y del Sol. Uh, so he quote tweeted Jericho and yeah. just said, my emotions got the best of me, Garnal. And then the prayer hands, the fist bump, and the sunglasses. Kalisto took it on the chin and he said, you know what? Fuck this. I don't care. Maybe maybe that's what, like, when, how long ago, I guess, I guess I need a timeline of when each tweet was tweeted out. Because maybe that's why Amanda was giving him shit for it. Because I don't know if she thought, like... Not to play like I don't want to say devil's advocate, but like I still don't think that they should have her Kurt Jericho or Amanda should have made like such a big deal about it. No, neither, so, neither but, like again, if if it was such a big deal to them, it, like, just settle stop it privately, trying to blow don't shit make it up public. for no reason. Like there's no there's yeah, so literally like, no point in it. So yeah, Maybe I don't want to like say stupid. So I, I I'll say giving B- Amanda the benefit of the doubt. I won't say playing devil's advocate because I think that's too mean, but. Give it to trying to like, I guess, trying to see it from Amanda's perspective. I guess I don't know if she saw that and took it as like disrespectful because he took it on the chin like that and showed like, look, it's not like no, it's not she, that big a deal. Responded, he responded to Jericho's tweet after the fact. Okay, so see, I didn't know that. No, Jericho and, and Amanda decided that it, to just decided to stick their nose in the business that had nothing to do with them. I guess you could say John. It was a miss fucking spelling. If she's again, if she's got an issue, if she's got an issue with it, take it up with him in a DM. Or I don't know, maybe tell that company to stop using your husband's dead name. I don't know what you want me to do here, sweetheart. Like, plain and simple. You can't have yeah, it both ways like, with that. I was gonna say you can't just like are you gonna just pick and choose? Are you gonna have like a, an official list of who and like who and who can't say his name or something? Like, it's either everyone can or no one can. And, like, I'm pretty sure it says, please don't say his name. Everyone will respect that and stop using it. But, like, don't nitpick, if you will. Don't I just, nitpick. I don't just don't understand choose. the situation. I don't understand it either. And, again, I didn't realize it got this bad. I was like, okay, Jericho's just being Jericho and responding to shit. He probably shouldn't have. So I just left it. Little did I know that it was blowing out of proportion like this. Of course it was, because that's... that's. Uh. Yeah, there's anyway. something more going on. She doesn't like that man. Yeah, apparently she has some deep hatred for Kalisto. Who the fuck knows? But to the biggest like... thing, originally that was my biggest thing, and then today, oh, about like three hours ago. Like, I was going to say, I was like, right before we, we got, even like, started we got recording. got notifications. I have screenshots of all the notifications of all of the group chats I'm in because, oh my god, my phone would not stop vibrating. WWE decides to release more talent today. Nobody surprised. More budget cuts. These are the names. I counted 18. I very well could be wrong. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. Uh, the majority were from NXT. Shocker, because why the fuck not? For Triple H. For Triple H is just trying to like build this brand and build up wrestlers, but... Triple H just gives up at this point, and I don't blame him. Uh, but there were a few main rosters, which kind of shocked me, so... Uh, I'm just going to go in order from how I saw them in tweets. Uh, Jeet Rama, Katrina Cortez, Trey Baxter, Zeta Ramir, Jesse Kamea, B-Fab, pisses me off, uh, Oni Lorcan, also pisses me off, Ember Moon, pisses me off. I think that was probably the big shocker, like the first big shocker. Yo, there's of- more. There's more. Big no, yeah, but that was the first. That was the first one. That's what I'm saying. The fact that there's more, and then like just makes it more upsetting. That, Frankie Monet, Scarlet, her husband Karrion Cross, Lindsay Dorado, Grand Metalik, Lucha House Party is no more. Uh, Harry Smith, aka uh, Davy Boy Smith, who people forgot even signed back with WWE, and then these are the ones. These last four really took people by surprise. One of which. I'm low-key happy. I don't wish anyone to lose their job, but, like... No, I already know who you're talking about, but I feel the same way. Like, I really couldn't I mean, I'll just start with it. Eve Marie, she never improved her in-ring ability. Bringing her back was a damn mistake. 
<laughs> Don't even get me started. Yeah. <laughs> Eva was a big fucking mistake from the jump. Has been, always will be. Whatever. If she wants to go model or do fitness somewhere else, go for it, sweetheart. That's all Just you. Just not wrestling. You, you, yeah. But these are the ones that kind of took me by surprise. Nia Jax, who's been with the company since 2014. Yeah, um... Being the Rock's cousin doesn't pay that up, but doesn't do it anymore, I guess. Oh my god. I didn't even think Nia was... She was dangerous, yes, but like... I'm gonna say, I was like, I think what bothered me the most about Nia Jax, and I guess seeing her on Total Divas kind of pissed me off, because she would always just start drama left and right. I'm like, I know it's reality TV, it's not exactly real, but I'm just like, come on, just like, stop. It was, but also, it was like, just the shocking. She, she was just, yeah, shocking for sure, but I'm just like, I guess, it's because like... She always injured everyone, and then she was, I don't know if it was just for heel heat, but she was always, like, so proud of it. I'm like... I mean, what, she had, what, she had like, real beef with Charlotte, and, like... Oh, the shoot fight? Yeah, those are fun. Uh, and then these two kind of just hit. Oh, yeah, There's no, I'm just like... Uh, Mia that Yim, sucked the life out of me. Mia Yim, who didn't even get to debut on the main roster oh. again. Um, Cause she she came as reckoning. She but came that's as reckoning, about it. and then they literally didn't do a damn thing with her. After that became a thing, after that ended, um, and her fiance, Keith Bearcat Lee. We just got Keith Lee back, right? We just got him back. I know health issues. I'm so happy he was healthy enough to come back. I, I was so happy when he, like, when everyone was just like, oh, he was fired, da 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 da, da. When pe people sticking their nose in business doesn't fucking belong. A common theme with today, apparently. Yeah. Um, so seeing him back, and, like, they built him up as this, like, massive heel and all of this, and then you release him. And the sad thing is, this isn't the first time they release someone while they're in the middle of, like, a, like a huge, like, not a push, I won't say a push, but, like, while they're at, like, a really, like, good high point in their career. Like, in the middle of, like, you know. Like, I just don't, I can't comprehend it. I understand. And, like, budget cuts, you have the people, like, Jackson Riker on your roster <laughs> for what? What is he doing? Nothing. Yeah, so, like, no, but even then, like, budget cuts is just, like, I guess damage control, but it's not fooling anyone, because, like, um, you have, Cultaholic you have, Wrestling you have was- budget cuts multiple times a year? As the rich, like, as the, like, the most well-made, richest, you know, wrestling company in the whole world, who has deals with, like, Fox News and ESPN and shit, like, I don't buy it. But, like, I know Cultaholic Wrestling was talking about, they had a stream earlier, I didn't get to watch it, but I don't even know if they're still going, but they were talking about how WWE is pretty much, like, making so much money right now, like, they're really doing well, so that this budget cut thing is, whole, like, it's bullshit, that's just what they're saying it is, when it's not, like, what's there to cut, you know, like, why, like, you know, it's really just, it's budget cuts. It's, like, it is bullshit. They've been saying budget cuts since the releases started last year during the pandemic. That's, I know, that's like, their thing. They're just like, oh, budget cuts. <laughs> You're fucking lying. Those I don't know if anyone's going to get this, but I'm going to say the budget cuts are gazebos. That bullshit. They're bullshit. Yeah, basically, they're gazebos. Yeah, those, it was really shocking. I was like, really? Like, Mia Yim never really got even a chance. Never was given a chance. Beef Keith up Lee just Keith... debuted on the main roster with Hit Row. She yeah. vibed with the group. It's her voice in the song. Hit Row. That's her. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> that, what a slap to the face that they keep using that shit. But, um, Matt also another shocking one for me was... <laughs> nice. Um, but, um, I was gonna say, um, Another shocking one for me personally was Frankie Monet because she just signed with NXT. She just signed with them not too long ago. She's had seven so, matches in NXT. Seven. Yeah, so I'm like, what the hell? See, I'm more... I'm actually very shocked with Ember Moon. 
I'm shocked with her too, especially coming going back to NXT. I was like, wh- like that was like probably the best thing they could have done for her. Yeah. And she did so well. She teamed up with Shotzi. She was the champion. Exactly. You know, I think she did. There's a lot because of people they the, they did wrong. That uh, that's what that's how you know it's so obvious that Triple H has nothing to do with this like at all, and the poor guy just has to stand there and fucking take it. And like Oni Dorkin too, like. I'm so happy Oni finally got a championship because he was in NXT for so long. Literally just got Keith back. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, we just fucking got him back. And it sucks. It's not fucking fair. This is yeah, the... D- it really listen, isn't. I, like, if I, would... I didn't have a podcast, WWE could kiss, kiss my ass. Hands down, period. I wouldn't fucking care. Yeah, I grew up watching it, th- watching it, but this is fucking bullshit. Like, this is so stupid. It is, and it, I, it just makes me think, what the hell goes through your mind? Like, what makes you think, yes, this is a good idea? Like, what makes you think, like, this is a good decision we're making? Again, you see people sitting in the back, doing nothing, and who are <coughs> racist. Jackson Riker, I'm looking right at you, my dude. <laughs> you just and saw Jackson like, Riker gone. No, t- 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 what has he done? Nothing. Thank you. I have something stuck in my throat. Hold on. I'm honestly surprised John Morrison hasn't been released yet. I mean, Especially yeah. considering they released Frankie his life. Frankie should have know, meditated her ass through cuts like her husband did. Damn. Well, with the Miz being eliminated from Dancing with the Stars, they might resume the feud between them, or they might reunite. I don't know because they need fucking tag teams. Well, yeah, you got rid of one of the longest tag teams <laughs> that are always there when you need them for tag team bullshit. Lucha House Party. <laughs> you got disrespectful. Yeah, you got rid of them. Ah, oh, that's just big sigh. Like, oh, like. It, it's like, it, yeah, it I just, just pisses me the fuck off. I just <laughs> genuinely, I genuinely not want to know what the hell they're thinking. Like, what they're not thinking. What That's is the it? problem, Savannah? They're not thinking. They see these yeah, names. Like, uh, they completely screwed up Karen Cross in the main roster. Had him dressing like dollar store gladiator. For what? You never put Scarlett with him. Called. Big mistake. I. I... It's exhausting. It really is. It's just like, oh my god, like, why? And again, like, another sea of people? Like, it it hurts. I hate seeing... Like, again, because I'll say, I never want to see someone lose their job. Because they're obviously doing something with it. This is their craft. Whether they're good at it or not, I who am I? Who the fuck am I to judge? Even Reese Trasha, that's not that's not up for debate. Yeah, she can go back to selling sunglasses and modeling like with her titties out. Like I don't fucking care. Like I mean, if you got it, flaunt it. But like, um, but if that's all you're good for, then that's why she came back. You know, I I just like I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll see if they do another round of releases. <laughs> But like before who? Like who the hell? Before or after Christmas? I swear to you, Savannah, we are not covering WWE for a while. I'm Merry not, fucking if, Christmas! If they, You're if, getting if, fired. If they do it in the month of December or to the mid of January, and they release people, I'm done. It is recorded evidence. I'm fucking done. I'll keep up like with I it on Twitter. Blame. I'm not covering it on this podcast. I refuse. I wore. I chose the worst time to wear a WWE shirt. Yeah, I just saw it all wrong. 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 fucking Monday Rollins shirt. <laughs> I, was, I just saw. I was like, oh, Seth Rollins is cool, and I freaking love the guys. I was like, let me wear it tonight. Nope, bad idea. Bad idea. Oh my god. Like I can put on. I'm like I have. I'm like I can put the banana shirt on. <laughs> There's no need. It's okay. Like, right. Or do you want? Or do you prefer the Hawaiian shirt? A little Matt it, Jensen. I've, it's okay, Savannah. It's okay. I won't fault you for know, wearing just... a Monday Night Rollins shirt. It was a good time for me. Again, and I was wearing I was wearing this shirt even before the freaking releases came left and right. Exactly. Like, like you didn't know they were coming, like when you got dressed. I legitimately got home from work, sat down, kinda got everything set up, 
and then my phone started popping off. And boom. Releases, releases. These people. Would honestly, miss. like, I'm hold. I'm trying to hold on for dear life to WWE, but honestly, if they get rid of AJ, that's probably, that's where I, the straw, the freaking whatever the hell, nail in the coffin. The straw, the whatever you want to say. Is that what you're trying to that, say? Yeah, basically, yeah. Cutting the cord, that, whatever you want to say. Whatever, whatever the other, cord. like, reference or idiom, whatever you want to call it. Idioms. Metaphor. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. That'll be it. Like, AJ's pretty much the only reason why I'm still watching, if I'm being honest. The only reason it's AJ. And he hasn't even really been on, has he? Like, he's been, he's had some time off. I know people are saying he might be injured, but I don't know. I mean, he might be. I haven't seen anything about it. Uh, I just know Omos has been coming out and, like, beating up the Tree Profits, which is just fucking rude. But... (laughs) But yeah, I'm like, I think that's what be, that that will that will definitely be it for me, because it's already kind of hard to watch already. But again, ages. Been just I mean, like, I'll say amazing. this: follow the talent, not the promotion. I saw somebody tweet that earlier. I legitimately couldn't remember who. Like well, that's exactly why. Like I'll only watch for just, AJ. Just follow the people you love. You don't well, care that's about why, like the company or the promotion. Well, that's exactly why. Like you know. First of all, that's why I love New Japan. I love a lot of the talent there. And that's where, you know, that's where the elite's from. That's where, you know, Bullet Club's from. Bullet Club's kind of fucking boring now. But before that, that's where Bullet Club is from. And that's why I love AEW. Because, you know, my favorites, five, no, four out of my five or out of my six all-time favorites are in AEW. It's Kenny, Matt Jackson, Jericho, and Omega. Oh, I already said Kenny and Hangman. <laughs> so then my four. You said, and then you said Tana, Kenny and, and then you said Omega. That's. I, I said Omega. Ma'am. I meant Hangman. I meant Hangman. Who's going to win, by the way? If, it either, if he cry. doesn't, then AW can suck it too. Plain and simple. You know, I'm like, man, you're just going to make me not be a wrestling man. And then I'll just exclusively go to New Japan and stay there. I'll wake up early if I have to. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> we will the f- we will follow the smoke show to certain death. Yes, fuck yes. Love me some smoke show. Scarlet. <laughs> That's not here either. Um, Indeed. <clears throat> do you have anything else? Because this has already been forty fucking minutes. <laughs> Yeah, forty. This is just the this new is gonna, this show. Is, no, this let's... is gonna be a long. Well, long... honestly, I couldn't think. Of, I couldn't get a question of the week, so maybe we just not do one because we spent. 40... That's fine. I don't care. I was gonna say we spent forty minutes on just news and rumors. I kind of thought about it. I'm like, we have so much more to go, and we are still technically on news and rumors. We're yep. about to leave. We're That's moving on got, to though. today in women's wrestling history. Yes, we are. Shine yes. number. 38 in 2016 shine as a promotion mainly based in new york um they had a, they had an event some notable names that were on this card mercedes martinez priscilla kelly aka gg uh, dolan yeah is she gg yeah, yeah she's gg uh <laughs> brandy lauren rachel ellering leva bates Shayna baszler sue young Soraya Knight, aka Paige's mom. She was at the show. Uh, Allison K. Ivelisse, who was the champion at the time. <laughs> and everyone's least favorite racist bitch, Tessa Blanchard. <laughs> I was gonna say everyone's favorite racist fucking bigot. <laughs> I can't. F- Anytime I see Tessa's name on a car, I'm like. <sighs> well, when you said Brandy, I got like. I tensed a bit all the. Fuck, no, but then you said Lauren, and I was like, yeah, I was like Ooh. and then it's like a big sigh of relief. I was like, okay, it's not now, that Brandy, fucking bitch. Brandy it's was the not bad bitch. Brandy wasn't doing shit in 2016. She was. She's still not doing shit. Well, obvi- <laughs> well okay, obviously she didn't have a kid at the time, but like, now. it's different. It's different now. I'm not even joking. I know. I know this isn't about Brandy Rhodes, but I'm just saying, like, even when she was involved with Bullet Club, she was just sitting there reacting to random shit, especially on being the elite. She was like, oh. like you know, when they would argue that's, and stuff. That's, that's all Brandy point. did. That's 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 what a manager does. They don't do anything else. That was but it. Some managers, some managers are more involved than others. Some. Brandy was just not all. Some. Brandy's she knows just Alina. a bitch. She knows Alina Vega. Yeah, Brandy exactly. Turn she... around at people on the stairs. She's Talk just here. the bitch that kisses Kenny. <laughs> that's that's true. But um, anyways, but yeah, Brandy Lauren. I'm so yeah, with her. I like Brandy Lauren. That's what uh, happened in 2016 on November 4th, which is today. 
Um, so yeah, like definitely a lot of a lot of talent that I did recognize. Yeah, I always try and do the ones that I know, and more specifically the ones that you'll know. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, then like I ex- I can explain where I know them from or why. Yeah, because I know some, popular. especially some of the ones, especially like from the early two thousands. I'm like, look, I'm like, I was like a a baby then, so I may not know. I, mean, I was a child too. But like you, like a child old enough to like I guess remember, if you will. Yeah, debatable. Debatable. Okay. <laughs> um. BTE. I know it's the Halloween episode, but anything. Actually, no. I caught something. I don't know if you caught it. I saw it on Twitter. Apparently, so the BT did like a Squid Game thing. I loved it so much. And when they had like the opening shot of like all the people and like their numbers, Hangman's number was 282. That will be the BTE following full gear. Oh, I noticed that too. I just saw it on Twitter and I was That'll like, That'll be the episode? Imagine. It'll, well, they, they've it, kind it, of been be giving little hints. It's the little hints. I don't think, well, maybe maybe this was the reason, but I wouldn't say it's a hint, that the fact that Full Gear was supposed to be this weekend and they moved it to next weekend because the week after they're going to be in Virginia for the first time, which, you know, that's where he's from, Aaron's Creek, Virginia. So I'm like, hmm. that That's what kind of really told me, like, okay, he's winning the title at Full Gear for sure. And then, you know... With the 282. I was I saw all the pictures um, and I was like, oh, who's going to be in it? I'm not upset with the casting. I, I thought Private Party was hilarious. Knack was freaking hilarious. So I wasn't a bad upset, but I was like, I was hoping, I was like, oh, maybe Hangman's going to be in it. Maybe this and all. No. Um, I was expecting a little bit more people. But then when I got, like, when I saw what there was, I was like, I'm not even mad. Maybe that's my fault for expecting. But I was like, you know what? As someone who is freaking going to school for this, like, the fact that they were able to film and edit this all in one night. And maybe not edit, because maybe they had time to edit. But the fact that they filmed it in a single night, they did a fantastic job. And I yeah. loved it. 10 out of 10. Really good job. 10 out of 10. <laughs> and they, they even, like, if you haven't seen Squid Game, or if you have, hopefully, I won't say any spoilers. Uh, this is not a spoiler. I mean, but they had, like, the red, yeah, they had the red hair at the end. <laughs> Neck was wearing a freaking red wig. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um... Um, I, I don't know. I don't know his name. Gin Young or something like that. Listen, um, I watched it. Kind of. I couldn't tell you anybody's name because I'm um, awful at remembering names. Um, I know like some of the main ones. Like um, I know two eighteen or Sangwoo, the damn traitor. Yeah, oh, that one. Well, I, sorry, that spoiler one I warning, but Sangwoo, um, Sabayok. She was the the girl, the main girl. Oh yeah. Seven. She was the younger um, one, right? Yeah, Gin Young. Il, Il Nam was number one, um, and um, there was and Ali. Oh, Ali! <laughs> Poor Ali. I watched it twice. I watched it first dubbed because I need to like. I just needed to. That's how I paid attention to it. And then I watched it again, but I watched it subbed. And let me just tell you, it subbed was definitely better. It wasn't as weird. It didn't sound as weird. But yeah, it was. It was good, and I liked the references. And then, of course, at the end, they showed the elite, you know, super click were like the guards, and then Kenny was the the what's the the front man. Yeah, I don't I don't up, know what he's he ended, called. He ended up killing everyone at the end because that's Kenny for yeah. you, like Kenny, to kill his murderer. friends. It's not here nor there. He kills his friends. Of course, Matt <laughs> Matt Jackson, not Matt Ritter, was the fucking circle, which if you don't know, basically means you have basically no power. You cannot speak unless you are given permission to. So I thought that was funny. Appar- <sighs> Apparently the Bearcat gimmick wasn't Keith Lee's idea. I feel what? lied to. <laughs> I am I over this bullshit. Lie. He just he <laughs> spotted a post. Send me the shit, ow, send, me, send me the post. Send me send me the things. I'll I'll read it. So yeah, okay, just to keep uh, yeah, like, just just to keep it going, because you know we've already done, we've that's, already done a lot. Right. Just the, because, the rest, the because of the, faster. Okay, the pretty because of the Halloween special, Big Neely was on Sunday, you know, Halloween instead of Monday. So therefore, there was no any well, with the exception of that little hint with Hangman, <clears throat> there was no really continuity with you know Dynamite because yeah. yeah. Which or I guess I guess I don't know if you want to call this news or rumors, but like um, apparently the Squid Game concept was the Elite's original idea, which kind of yeah. 
explains why they decided to be Ghostbusters again. They probably just grabbed the outfits that they, you know, already had. Maybe just like add the, added the elite stuff, but like you know, and got one for like Adam and Nick this time because you know Nick was the ghost last time. Yeah. But yeah, I think it was a last minute decision considering that Squid Game was their first choice. But I guess TNT didn't approve it, which I'm like, the fuck TNT. TNT. Um, I'm like TNT, they can say shit, but they can't make references to so Squid Game. Like so many things. Yeah, you um, can talk about like what's her fucking name on from America Top Ten. They could talk oh, about how much Paige Van Zandt or she. Yeah, they could talk. Chris Jericho could talk about how much of a whore she is. Listen, but... she put her, she made that she set that joke up herself. Uh, oh yeah, night. I know that. I don't. Like That's her, her own damn well, fault. I got the yeah, tw- I, I got the tweet or the okay interaction. Someone put in the comments of Instagram, I think. Um, yeah, uh, this whole Bearcat thing was his idea, and then people just like going through comments, and then Keith Lee responded to that person and said, "No, period. It was not. Period." LOL, period. <laughs> Ooh, when you get LOL in a period, that's not like, thank oh, you, Reek. he's real. <laughs> Reek's the one who sent it, so thank you. Yeah, thank you, Reek, our advocate. Our advocate, yes. Um, yeah, so that's just... <sighs> Whatever. I'm done. I'm done. Been on. Uh, Dark Elevation. Uh, Wheeler Yuta... Jesus. Uh, Orange Cassidy and Chuck Taylor defeated the Acclaimed and Serpentico. Tay Conti defeated LMK. Emmy Sakura and Nyla Rose defeated uh, Ryu Mizunami and Chris Statlander. Riho beat Kayla Sparks. FTR beat Waves and Curls. And Frankie Kazarian defeated Victor Benjamin. That was Dark Elevation. Elevator. <laughs> dark Elevators. Um, dark itself. I didn't get... <laughs> Wait, who won this match? I don't remember who won these matches. Some of them. Most of them I got answers for. Other ones, I'm going to take a guess. And if I'm wrong, oh well. Um, I'm going to say Tony Nese defeated Fuego Del Sol. Tony Nese, who was the, apparently, quote, um, shout out to Culture Inc., Ways and Curls, shout out. Um, apparently Tony Nese was like the, like, what were they calling him? The hottest free agent. So he this was his first taste of AEW wrestling. Um, so I think he beat Fuego. Um, that's safe to say. Uh, Bunny <laughs> defeated Santana Garrett. 2.0, fucking little bastards, defeated Bison XL, and the man's from Vegas, the very large Samoan man, uh, Toa Leona. Love him. They fucking beat him. 2.0. It's rigged. That's how you know it's fucking dark. It's like, rigged. you know, where shit like that could happen. It's rigged. And, like, Bison XL, that's a big dude, too. I looked at his picture. I was like, oh, my God. And uh, 2.0, those little dudes. Hashtag st- No! How are you going to go against a man you watched wrestle in person? That's disrespectful. Uh, neither here nor there. Bobby Fish beat Ryzen. I'm assuming Pac beat Tiger Ruas. The Acclaimed beat Ishmael Vaughn and Dante Smiley. Daniel Garcia defeated RSP. Santana and Ortiz beat Joe Coleman and Idris Abraham. Red Velvet beat uh, Chalance Royale. John Silver and Alex Reynolds beat Sean Carr and Marcus Cross. Not to be confused with Karrion Cross, who was just fucking released. Uh, Nyla Rose so beat Vibe be Killer Cross. <clears throat> He's about to be Killer Cross again. <laughs> um... And Lee Johnson and Brock Anderson defeated uh, Eli Knight and Malik. I don't want to mispronounce his name. Never mind. I'm not even going to say it. They lost. Because it's the Nightmare Factory and they have to win and build up Brock. Whatever. <sighs> this has been an exhausting show already. It definitely has. There's yeah. just so much happening. Bo Sadie. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I don't want to mispronounce. I don't like mispronouncing things. I can't count. I like to be able to at least speak. <sighs> Stay true to my own gimmick. <laughs> Wrestlers of the week. Did you go first last week? I did because I was absent the week before. That's correct. Okay, so I'll go first. Um, y'all hanging in there. We're barely hanging in. Um, female, because I wrote them in the wrong order. 
I'm going Shotzi Blackheart. Because made her debut on SmackDown. Uh, took on Charlotte. They're putting her up in that program now. And then she had this weird thing with Sasha, where Sasha's apparently supposed to be the baby face, and Shotzi's apparently a heel now. I don't understand. Sasha's never going to be a face. No, Point especially blank, after period. that sh- it just irritates my soul. Uh, but Shotzi, being on the main roster and killing it, as she fucking deserves, because Shotzi is yes. a star, and if you're going to break up her and Tegan, you better push them both respectfully, or WWE is also going to catch my hands. Plain and simple. They're already catching your hands, so they're going to just catch more. They're they're catching them already. They're going to continuously catch them if they keep pulling this bullshit. Yeah. But who is your female of the week, Savannah? My female pick is the main event of Rampage this past Friday. Miss Abaddon and The Doc. Oh, I couldn't. Fuck. I forgot that match happened. I couldn't choose between either of the two because, you know, Britt not only won, but Abaddon did absolutely amazing. This is like a first time back on TV in a long ass time. And they had a, like, like a street fight, or I don't know what you want to call it. Trigger, like, it was a street fight, basically. Yeah, technically, yeah. First of all, Britt's gear, just quick shout out to that. It was fucking awesome. I loved it. And then they had a great match with Thumbtacks and Al. Brit is just Abaddon a thumbtack being an actual queen. zombie and like getting yeah up. exact uh, exactly so that was really good deservedly so in the main event so yeah those are my two picks the two women in the main event the duck and the zombie I forgot that match happened damn it yeah I was like I, I was there's no way I could forget it I thought I it was knew, so good I knew there was something I was forgetting that I wanted to like write down I'm so mad whatever um. Tag teams. Uh, I have an honorable mention because they showed up on TV again, and again, I will stay true to my gimmick. Team Ninja, honorable mention. Uh, next week they have a match, so they will be my ta- one of my tag teams next week. I have to, I have to stay true to the gimmick. That's that's yeah, what I do for sure. Um, but I'm going with uh the father son team of Johnny Gargano and Dexter Loomis. I love really? I loved it. I loved the match and I love Carmelo and Trick too. Like I yeah. love Carmelo Hayes. Trick's Trick's alright, but like Carmelo Hayes though. Oh my god. But Johnny and Dexter, their chemistry's great. I love that they're still playing up this father son thing. Johnny put on one of the gloves and like they did a lot of moves together. I love what they're doing with this. And like you had like the little bit of a tease of Johnny and Champa again, which I wouldn't be mad, but, like, they're at different points in their career now. They don't need to go back to this. There's other people yeah. who can take on Champa. That's not the hand there. But Johnny and Dexter, that's... Yeah, good choice. That's a and I like solid-ass the... tag team. <laughs> they, they should go for the gold. Should they be the one to dethrone MSK? Well, MSK is not champions anymore. Are they not? This is how you know how did Mike... You, did you not watch Halloween Havoc? I watched some of it. I was busy. Imperium beat MSK to become two-time NXT Tag Team Champion. I. This is how you know how often I catch up with NXT. I didn't realize that, that there was... I'm sorry. Uh, now I need to really go back and watch it. It was a good match. It was so, a pretty solid match. So then, do you think they would defeat Imperium? <laughs> Honestly, well, right now, Johnny's kind of focusing... Excuse me, on the NA being... title... And if they yeah, do that same bullshit they do with the women and the shit they do in the main roster and try and, like, have him go for the tag titles, too, no. No. Stop it. I get No mad. more double champions. I get mad when main roster does it. Don't you fucking start to. I'm gonna say, like, are there still any, like, in all of wrestling, are there still double champions out there? I think we're... Oh, Kenny, I guess. He's the AAA and the AW champion, but other than that... That barely um... counts. He doesn't fucking... He defended the AAA one, what? Once? Twice? Because I know Mexico has travel restrictions. He just recently uh, did it against Andrade, and that match was some bullshit yeah. because Andrade should have won. That's neither here nor there. I... But yeah, um, I was going to say, it's because Mexico, it's because it's weird. Because you can... I don't know, like, again, I don't know how the Mexican border is working, but I know some. there's some sometimes where you can go to Mexico... 
but then like you know you can travel Mm -hmm. but then like borders are still technically not open so like people i guess it's only free game for americans like americans can travel to mexico but mexicans can't travel to america so i think there's because of just some like confusion with the border like there's also a bunch of shit that going on uh, america is garbage Plenty basically again, all, I, don't, all, I can't i can't tell you is america i, I can't say. tell you i cannot tell you i cannot tell you exactly what is going on but i know for a fact like for example borders are not open for people from like juarez you know the city that borders el paso to come in to the united states but like you know I've, many of my family members have successfully gone to juarez and come back so I don't know, maybe it's a double standard where you, Americans can go to Mexico, but Mexicans aren't allowed to come here. I don't know. But that's, again, it's just very confusing. So I just don't understand. But yeah, so I don't think there's, other than that, I don't think there's any other double champions, as it should be. Like, it's, it doesn't, it takes out the prestige when there's so many at once, you know? Mm-hmm. But okay, so tag team? team. My tag team, again, it was two picks. I know I already did, a, like, two people from the same match, but... When you get the Usos and you get the New Day in a tag team, you're never gonna get, you're never gonna be disappointed ever. So that's why I'm like, and I was like, I don't know who to choose. And I de- guess technically I could have chosen New Day because they won, but the Usos still did like a really freaking awesome job. So I was like, you know, you know what? Why do I have to choose? Let me just pick both because they, you know, their matches never fail to disappoint. It's like Champa and Gargano. Or, Ch- or Gargano and Adam Cole. Like, there are matches against each other. You can have as many as you want. They will never be bad. They will always be really good. So, yeah, really. that's why. So, those are my two tag teams. Solid choice. Uh, I, my man. My, just one man. Your um, man's. Because, again, I literally thought of these right before we went live. I I had this idea of, like, having them ready. I usually do. I just... That's what I'm starting to try and do because I was usually the last minute one. I was like, yeah, let me just how about how about this? How about I just figure it out before? It bit it's been a week, y'all. Let's no, yeah, I that. know. It's, um, it's but my man's your man's Andrade El Idero. I gotta go with Andrade. Like man's you fucking first beat of all, Cody's bitch ass. <laughs> exactly. You beat Cody. I love the team of him and Malachi. Like, it's just they're doing they're doing good with him right now. I hate, listen. I think I've explained this. I love like Pac, Pac, whatever Pac, whatever Eddie Kingston always throws me off with how he says it. Yeah. And Andrade and Malachi having them in a feud, money, fucking money, yeah. dollar dollar bills for days, make it rain. But then you gotta throw Cody in it, and then you make me mad, and then now we have like, to deal, and now we have to deal with him. And all of the stupid things he does, the only funny thing <laughs> that happened um, was Arn and Tully almost get into it, and I cracked up. <laughs> Tully's out here taking off his jacket. Arn's like, "I have a Glock, like say less." Yeah, you wanna, you wanna like get like sleep. Get it. Oh god, but I'm loving yeah. everything with Andrade, uh, like his matches with what you say, formerly known as Neville. <laughs> Um, and his, like, his match with Cody was good. I'm happy he, I'm happy he won. And I'm curious to see where this is gonna go. Might lead to a tag match at full gear. That's, may, that's a maybe. That's, like, a big maybe. I was gonna say, I was like, the full gear card looks, is it just me or is the full gear card kind of, like, stacked? Stacked? I mean, maybe it's because I haven't, maybe I, I haven't, mean, you know, I have, a, I have a massive headache right now, so I can't really think straight. But um, I can't think of any other matches other than the Inner Circle match, the AEW Championship match, and the Women's Championship match. Um, sorry. Are the tag teams on? <laughs> a plane just flew by and it was really loud. Um, <laughs> let me look up the full gear card. I'm like, I can only think of those three matches. So for me, at least, but again, I can't really think straight. It's, I, I count only three match- ma- there, there matches. Are, there are more than three. I was going to say. Um, I mean, there has to be. It's full gears next week. Darby versus MJF. Okay, yeah, that's a, see, that's another one. So that's uh, four. The Lucha Bros versus FDR for the tag titles. Okay, so that's five. Uh, the five on five street fight bullshit of Inner Circle and Men of the Year. I already said that one. 
I know. I'm just reading them. I'm just reading them all. Oh, okay. So, um, Brit versus Tay. Kenny versus Hangman. That's five. And then, um, the final for the tournament, Danielson versus Miro. Okay, that's not bad. Six matches. That means, you know, they're going to be nice and lengthy. It's just, I know in the beginning, at least, AEW was kind of notorious for just throwing in random matches on pay-per-view. I was like, look. Or, like, booking a match, like, the week before, like, the go-home show. I was like, okay, like, just, I don't know. I, but, um, I, I don't know. But anyways... So, my pick, my man's, was going to be Andrade, but it wasn't. Um, but I will give him all the freaking flowers today because, um, because yeah, he fucking, he beat Cody's bitch ass. And again, so the only thing that pissed me off about, pissed me off about the whole, that whole situation is, are the Lucha Bros supposed to be, like, the horrible and still failed attempt at trying to get people to cheer for Cody because it didn't work. I the mean, Bros I think out. they I think they only came out because FDR was there and they have this feud that with could, FDR. That could be the case. That's but probably I'm just the saying, only like, case. I'm like, I hope so. Because I'm like, I'm like, if you're trying to build Cody up and trying to bring all these faces that people actually like, just, just don't even bother. Like, don't. But honestly, I just, I want to say this. I know we're going so far ahead right now but really quick i think cody in order because i know he doesn't want to turn heel but i don't know maybe that's just him saying that so at some point he will do turn heel i don't know i don't know i'll just fucking do things but i think cody needs to be given the hangman treatment but the opposite result happens where he's losing so many times to so many people he's constantly failing to the point where he just snaps and then turns heel, finally. Hangman is going the other direction. He's been failed. <laughs> poor, my poor guy, my poor guy Hangman has failed, like, in many different occasions. His, the first, his first Dynamite match, he failed. The All Out, you know, 2019, he failed. Full gear from last year, you know, this poor dude has gone down so much. But instead of, you know, turning heel and snapping because he's so tired of failing, he's going in the other direction. He's kind of in the more positive direction. He's you know, picking up the pieces and coming back. But I think Cody needs to experience that, but the opposite effect where he keeps losing to the point where he just, he loses it. So that's just the thought. That's, you know, so yeah, but that's just that I thought. And just a few flowers for Hagman because he straight up told Kenny he has 10 days at the time. And now it's nine days, but at the time he said 10 days. He's like, you got 10 days. So you better hold that title tight. I was like, oh shit. Like, don't get me wrong. I think the way he said you got 10 days. I was just like, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, this, he just said, I'm fucking, he just basically said a spoiler. He spoiled the match. He really just did. I mean, but I, I mean, don't is, care. Is, is it really a spoiler, though, if we all know the ending? I don't care, man. I just, I always say it, but I will say it again. I love Kenny with all my heart, but Hangman needs this. He needs this so bad, and he fucking deserves it. See, so here's, I'm just, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to quick, 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 quick little tangent. I know you love Kenny. I do love Kenny. But this version of Kenny gotta go. Like, well, that's I think Kenny, that's exactly I, Kenny being champ for so long. It's not really doing anything. I mean, he's had some banger matches. I don't get me wrong. Kenny's a fantastic performer, and I'm happy that he's slowly losing belts as he fucking should because the belt collector thing was terrible. So, I think this is his final nail in the coffin. Hangman takes the title. Kenny pieces for a while. Goes to actually fix everything wrong with him, because I know the man's injured, and has been working injured for a while. Go get that shit a figured back, out. A finger and a shoulder. Like, and if you come back, come back. If you don't want to and you want to stay behind As the scenes... As the real cleaner, he's good. that's the only reason why I'm kind of... Like, well, not just because, you know, I think Hangman needs it, because he fucking does, and he deserves it. I don't I shouldn't even say need, but he deserves it after, you know, you know, not ever winning a singles title outside of the Indies. He deserves it. It's long overdue. New Japan didn't do shit with him. Ring Modern didn't do shit over. with him, except throw him into fucking tag team. Exactly. So, that's not the only reason why I'm completely okay, pretty much completely okay with Kenny losing the title. But with not only the time off he's going to take, you know, because every world champion that's lost their title is taking time off, um, he's going to not only rest up, fix his back, fix his shoulder, 
I think his finger's still kind of fucked up. I don't know. But he's going to heal. So good for him. He fucking deserves it. Dude needs to take a break. But I'm hoping he comes back as the real fucking cleaner that we have, or we as in like, you know, us who've been watching New Japan and we're waiting for the Kenny that we've wanted since AEW started, we will officially get that heel cleaner, that dark side cleaner that we've been waiting for, at least that I've been waiting for. So like, I want it so badly. So that's, I'm pretty sure. And I hope, I hope that's what we get. And you know how you said earlier that Kenny's going to get kicked out. I kind of see that, but either he gets kicked out or he like dumps them. Like he basically says, I'm too good for you guys. Fuck you. And he dips on them. And that's how you get the, like the split and you just get super click and you have Kenny. He's getting we'll dumped. We'll see, but for I'm sure. just saying. I'm if, just, if, if I'm they just try to make, if, if they break up the elite, which at this point, do something with them because Adam Cole's the best part about this right now. It's gonna you, be super click, I'm pretty sure. Exactly. Like, you have like, you have this feud between Kenny and Adam. Sure. Go for it. And you have the Bucks realize, nah, Kenny's a dick. Fuck him. We're gonna stay with Adam Cole. And, but, and but they the, kick out Kenny. But here's the thing. I think for sure they're gonna try and keep Kenny heel. And because especially with Adam being over with the crowd, I think their best bet would keep the buck would keep turn Adam and the Bucks face, and then keep Kenny as a heel. And I think the only way to truly cement that he's still a heel and that they're still a face is if Kenny dumps them. And we're not really I don't want to say dump because I think dump is if it was the other way around the majority kicks him out. But I guess if he decides to like, I guess shit on them, maybe you know you know, get cocky about it, get arrogant, you know, maybe say that they're holding him back, something. I think Kenny needs to turn them away in order to cement that he's still the heel. And that's a good, I think that would be a good way to turn Adam face because he's already so over with the crowd, no matter what shit he does. Like, I'm pretty sure people are genuinely pissed that Christian kicked his ass this past Wednesday because, you know, everyone loves Adam Cole. But that's the thing. Adam Cole's been a heel 99% of his career. Whether he's over or not, he can. He was. Look at yeah, undisputed no, era. Just, he was a heel, and they were the I most know, I, thing in NXT. Yeah, for and I get that, but just I guess I don't know because I I think they definitely try and play like the make sure you get the heels to get booed and shit, but they won't force them. They won't do sound bites like freaking WWE. But I think their goal is still to try and keep like you know you cheer the faces and you boo the heels. You know, I think, and I think that's another reason why Hangman has not turned heel because he's so over. I know people are saying he's going to turn heel. I'm like, he's not. He's so over with the crowd. That would be the dumbest decision you could ever make. I'll just say this. Cody's a face. Cody gets booed out the building. Yeah, but he's also Cody. Cody's also a little bitch who whines and complains and refuses to turn heel. It doesn't matter. He's He's still a face. He's still getting booed. I'm just, I'm just proving, I'm out here just proving the point. That's all no, but, I, but again, and I think, the, but like, back to, um, they're trying to keep him face. They're trying to get him to get cheered. They don't, they're trying to make sure, like, they're trying to get Brandy interfered with. They're trying to, like, oh, what, maybe we, we beat up on freaking Arn Anderson. Maybe they'll sympathize with Cody. Maybe if he does this, they'll sympathize. It's not working, though. So I think they're still going to try, is what I'm saying. You know, they'll try at least. I mean, we'll see. Did you say your man of the week? Yeah, I was, um, or did I? I don't know. I'll just, you know what, I'll just, to keep t- cut time short, I'll say it's also Andrade, because I gave him all his flowers, and I gave him so much credit for kicking Cody's ass. And again, if him and Malachi are working together to kick Cody's ass together, that is chef kisses all around. So, more possibly breaking news, apparently, um, some of the releases may be due to the vaccination status. Hmm. hmm. So, like, the I reason like... Sasha probably missed SummerSlam? Weird. But she's still not released? Like, I mean, we don't... Again, this is... this is. Let's assumption. take it with a grain of salt, this I know, but I'm just saying that's apparently... the reason. <laughs> Thank you. Matt just said it. Um, uh, but what... Just back to, there's just so much double standard, though, in WWE. There's so much double standard. It's... It's ridiculous. So, yeah. like, maybe some people didn't want to get vaccinated, so they're like, okay, you're fired. 
But then Sasha Banks didn't want to, and then, oh, just come back when you're ready. I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. But regardless, that has been actually not even the longest show we've done. All right, cool. We made, we did not make it the longest. No, we've done longer shows. Yeah, um, but I think it's because we're not doing the question of the week. That's even if we, why. even if we did the question, it would only be like maybe ten ish more minutes, and I still think no, that's true. I still that still wouldn't make it the longest episode we've done. <laughs> Um, but tell the people where they can find you, Savannah. Um, on Instagram and Twitter at Y two Garcia with an underscore, but there's no underscore, it's not me, so Yeah. It's, it's on, also it's if you're screen. watching, it's yeah, if you're watching it's on the screen. If you're listening, Y two Garcia with an underscore because there's no underscore, it's not me. <laughs> there you go. And for me and all things she lead, you can find me on Twitter at Katie Rasslin thirteen. It is right there if you're watching the video if you go to my twitter uh i have a link tree in my bio it'll take you to the twitch twitch.tv slash she lead showcase feel free to follow we go live every thursday around 9 ish p.m you get to see all of this stuff happen um the youtube feel free to subscribe please i would like to get Pretty a please. custom url sooner rather than later pretty please so please subscribe you know, like videos, all that, all that jazz. Comment, let us know what you think. Also, the audio links, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and I got us on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, I did it. Congratu- congratulations, did it. you did Listen, it. I sat here Monday. I said, you know what? There's got to be a reason the shit's not working. And I sat here for about a half an hour. I fiddled with it. Yay. Not all of the episodes are up for some reason. But I think starting from here on out, they should be. If not, let me know. Um, there is a delay for the upload with Google Podcasts. Thank you, JJ. I did realize that as well. Um, so you can always just check out Spotify or Anchor, and they'll be out day it gets released. But I'm just so happy we're finally on Apple. <laughs> I know. Leave us a review and five stars. I think we deserve it. Like Meltzer stars. us with no, five stars. No, don't say his name, Savannah. We're going so well. Oh, oops. God damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think that's, that's... Oh, and we have an Instagram that I post on. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> she Leads Showcase. Um, feel free to follow that, too. I, I post when we... Uh, release the shows and everything like that. Check out the latest Inside the Mind of with TC, Fontaine, the Thespian from Young Kings. I got one with our advocate, Rick Havoc, the warden, Mr. Matt Ritter, Justin from Get Show. The, in like, what, two weeks, the next one will be out with uh, Vince from Snag and Raw. Very Ooh. excited. Uh, and I'm gonna try and get the collab show shot this weekend in the crowd. Yes. I'm gonna try. try. Um, I just need the three people I need. If you know, you know. I need you all to be available this weekend so we can get this <laughs> done. If not, then the two of you will do just fine. And I have one planned for December already. That one's gonna... That, nobody's gonna remember. It's gonna be a Chicago episode. I'm very excited to do it with them. I'm not gonna tell you who. You'll figure it out yourselves. But until then, this has been the Sheely Showcase. Such a long, <laughs> long episode. Thank it's you. It's always guys. the news and rumors. It's always the news and rumors, guys. I should just no, because that makes it more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys again, and we'll catch you next week. Uh, bye bye.